Hey guys, what did you think of that intro? That introduction was all done with the camera equipment that I currently have sitting next to me on my table. So I'm going to take you through what I use, what mounting systems I use with my cameras, when I use them, the application, and also why I chose these cameras over other cameras. I love the DSLR cameras. <laughs> I just, I love the quality that they give, the depth of field, the different lenses. And I used to have a Panasonic G7 that I used for everything, but I found I wanted a bit more diversity. I wanted a bit more zoom. I wanted a wider angle. And so I actually sold the G7 to buy all this camera equipment so I could use the diversity. So come along and I'll show you what I use on my hunting trips. Um, maybe it can help you out in deciding what camera you should be using as well. Here is my main camera, the Samsung S20 Ultra, and I use a DJI OM4 gimbal with it. With this camera, I do all my vlogging, all my scenic shots up close, I use this camera. The audio captured by the phone is excellent. It has a directional microphone front and rear and the video quality the autofocus and the colors it captures are so close to the DSLR I don't believe it is worth having a DSLR anymore the DJI OM4 automatically tracks you on selfie mode and produces extremely smooth video quality the DJI Pocket to create a combo kit. This is my dedicated B-roll camera. This is an internal gimbal and can take some amazing quality videos. It's very very small and a very very capable little camera as long as there's enough light. The other feature that I use with this camera is it has an external microphone so if I do want to record some audio even if I overlay it over my phone video, I can do that. The time lapse that you saw on the introduction video was done by this little camera. It is very, very capable, and I probably haven't really used it to its full potential. This selfie stick can be used with your cell phone Bluetoothing to it. The microphone tethered with this camera can also be used as a remote to start recording, which is quite neat. Next up is my action camera. This is the Insta360. This camera is a good little camera. It's very, very lightweight and has a little charging station that will give you continuous ability to film. The little head strap I just cut out of a Mitre 10 Mega beanie and I stick it on my head and it's a one button on, one button off push camera. And when you're finished with it, you take it out of the head strap and put it back in the charger case and it just sits in my binocular holders. It captures those moments that I really want it to. It is not very good in low light. That is my only gripe with this little camera. Next is the camera I use for my long range footage. This is a 60x optical zoom. It is a Panasonic FZ80 and it is fantastic, bang for buck, for getting close and um, spotting those shots as well. The DJI Mini SE, a very compact, lightweight little drone that takes amazing footage, flies within like five kilometers and is just a total weapon. I love this thing. These are a crowd pleaser. It's nice and light as well and I fold it up and chuck it in my bag. I always carry a 5000 milliamp hour charger that can charge two cameras at once and that just keeps me going while I'm out there. I carry very basic tripods. These are the little Joby foldable ones with a magnetic mount for the phone and that is all I use for my tripods. Hope you enjoyed that guys. All up, my camera gear all combined together is two 1640 grams or 2.6 kgs which I don't think is really too bad I don't often take all of it with me 
I'll leave one of my B-roll cameras. So I'm usually carrying around two kilos of camera gear, including tripods and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, get out there and get filming your own adventures.